Here's the man you've heard referred to as the QAnon shaman outside the Senate chamber. A few at the front of the herd broke windows. Someone opened the doors and many hundreds of others just walked in. They're gonna make that the story. Of course, they did make it the story. And at the center of it, the single most famous person arrested that day was a Navy veteran from Arizona called Jacob Chansley, often referred to as the QAnon shaman. The so-called QAnon shaman. QAnon shaman. Someone named Q shaman. Jacob Chansley became the face of January 6th, a dangerous conspiracy theorist dressed in outlandish costume who led the violent insurrection to overthrow American democracy. For these crimes, Chansley was sentenced to nearly four years in prison, far more time than many violent criminals now receive. What did Jacob Chansley do to receive this punishment? To this day, there is dispute over how Chansley got into the Capitol building. But according to our review of the internal surveillance video, it is very clear what happened once he got inside. Virtually every moment of his time inside the Capitol was caught on tape. The tapes show the Capitol Police never stopped Jacob Chansley. They helped him. They acted as his tour guides. Here's video of Chansley in the Senate chamber. Capitol Police officers take him to multiple entrances and even try to open locked doors for him. We counted at least nine officers who were within touching distance of unarmed Jacob Chansley. Not one of them even tried to slow him down. Chansley understood that Capitol Police were his allies. Video shows him giving thanks for them in a prayer on the floor of the Senate. Watch. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for paying the inspiration needed to these police officers to allow us into the building. Contrast the reality of what Jacob Chansley did in the Capitol building on January 6th, the indisputable facts recorded on video, some of which has never before been seen, with the depiction of Jacob Chansley that you've seen in the media for more than two years. He's a terrorist, they said. He should be killed. Shoot him. Shoot him. Like, if it, you burst into the United States, hey, if he was dressed like bin Laden, would you have shot him? Shoot him. Shoot him. It makes you wonder, who are the violent extremists here? Not Jacob Chansley. And the video proves that. But you would never have known from the media coverage. The people sitting in the chairs need to be sitting in a jail cell. Chansley is in a jail cell. He's been there for months. If he was, in fact, committing such a grave crime, why didn't the officers who were standing right next to him place him under arrest? Until now, no one could even prove that even happened. But it did.